Hey guys, DLN here with Women Throwing Leather. She is back. Who's the she I'm talking about? Of course, the one and only Chris Cyborg. So once again, Chris Cyborg will be headlining a UFC event, even though she's not officially signed to the UFC. Like last time, it'll again be at the 140 pound catch weight. Who dares step into the cage to face her? Why, it's none other than Lena Elbow Princess Landsberg. Look her up, she's badass. They will be headlining the UFC Fight Night card in Brazil on September 24th. Now this will be Cyborg's second fight in the UFC. The first one being against Leslie the Peacemaker Smith, which didn't go so well for Smith. Let me see, if I remember right, I think the lights went out on Smith right around the minute and 21 second mark of the first round. And it wasn't because she didn't pay her light bill. And with that win, that brought Cyborg's record to 16 and one. Let's just face it and accept it. She truly is the baddest woman on the planet. Now Cyborg said recently in an interview that this may be her last fight at 140 pounds. Why? Because it's extremely difficult for her to make that weight. Her normal walk around weight is 175 pounds. So let's do the math. She has to cut 35 pounds to make 140. In terms of losing weight, cutting 35 pounds is not at all easy. So really what the UFC needs to do is just add a 145 pound featherweight division. You know, it's not like they can't populate it. You know, there's quite a few 145 pound featherweight fighters that they can pull from Invicta and other MMA organizations. But Dana White has said very clearly that he has no intention of adding that division. Yeah, and women will never be in the UFC. Been there, done that. Now, this will be Landsberg's UFC debut. Looking at her MMA record, She's still fairly new to MMA. I mean, she's only had seven pro fights. But all that really means is a difference in experience. So Cyborg's had more experience than her. But what that doesn't mean is that she doesn't have a chance against Cyborg. Because we as fans all know that in MMA, anything can happen. And that's why we watch the sport, right? Now, Landsberg has some KOs of her own. Four to be exact. Bringing her record to six and one. Like Cyborg, her only loss is at the beginning of her career, which was to Panny Kianzad. Cyborg's a beast. Honestly, I don't know anybody that hits as hard as she does. Now, how do I know she hits hard? Have you seen her fights? Plus, Gina Carano said in an interview one time about her fight with Chris Cyborg that she had never been hit that hard in her life. Now, what Cyborg brings to her fighting style is some basically brute force. She's got some devastating tools, one being strength both physically and mentally. She is ridiculously strong, and she has this ability to basically walk through the punches of her opponents and not be phased. And it's easy for her to overpower her opponents because of her strength. Now on the mental side, she has tremendous heart and phenomenal confidence and rightfully justified. She has scary knockout power and wicked fast hard combos that she delivers with the force of a cinder block. She seriously brings total domination in her fights. Now Landsberg is from Sweden and she has a Muay Thai background. She even fought Valentina Shevchenko's sister Antonina. And what Landsberg brings to her fight is an aggression. You know, when she's on the inside, she likes to get against the cage and just unleash a barrage of nasty elbows. I guess that's why they call her the Elbow Princess. Now, like Cyborg, Landsberg is predominantly a striker, but watching through some of her fights, she does have a ground game. I mean, she can't handle herself on the ground. Now, the way I see this fight is you have a veteran striker versus an up-and-coming striker. I really don't see this fight going to the ground at all. Being as dominant as Cyborg is against her opponents, it'll be really interesting to see what Landsberg can bring to the fight. Okay, so once again, it is Chris Cyborg versus Lena Landsberg coming up for UFC Fight Night in Brazil on September 24th. What do you think of this matchup? Go ahead and leave your thoughts in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, a subscribe, and a share. I am D. Allen. Thanks again for watching Women Throwing Leather. And as always, you're awesome.